was a beautiful evening on the island of Sodor, and Spencer was staying at the Shens while Henry was taking the kipper. He was going to take a turn late so he could get some sleep. The Duke and Duchess were having tea with Sir Topham Hatt, so he was waiting for them as well. He and Gordon were talking about their lives and how they were going. And that's when the station master came as it started to rain all over. The Duke and Duchess are ready for you now, Spencer, he had said to him. I can set up your coaches for you, said Thomas happily. That won't be necessary, thank you, said Spencer. I can gather them myself, Spencer said proudly. So Spencer got started up. Oh, do be careful, Spencer, said Gordon, a little worried. Don't worry, I'll be fine. And he left for the station. As he made his way to the station, it started to rain harder, and it got a bit darker. He had made it a few minutes later. That's when Henry went by. Have a nice night, Spencer, Henry called. Um, yeah, you too, he yelled back. Something had seemed off to Henry, but he had thought nothing of it. Be careful, Spencer. It's rainy and dangerous out there, said Sir Topham Hatt to Spencer. Thank you, sir. Have a great night, sir. You too, he yelled back. During his run, thunder started. Along the main line, Spencer got more worried and more worried. Spencer started to pick up speed. Even if this wasn't a good idea, he just wanted to get home. Spencer's driver had him stop for a second as it was very dark now. As his light flickered on, he got him started again. Now a bit easier to see, he could see more objects. He started to pick up his speed again, when all of a sudden he yelled, Ah! Brakes! He tried to, tried to pull on the brakes as quickly as possible. He had let down sand to get a better grip on the tracks, but it was no use and he had flew into the fallen shrubbery and it all happened at once. But luckily nobody was hurt, but they were stranded. Bert Spencer! What were you doing? The Duke questioned him aggressively. I, I, I don't know. Gordon was right. I should have been more careful, he had said sadly. As much as you don't like him, you should have listened to him, the Duke proclaimed. That wasn't very good of you. What will we do next is unknown. But hopefully you will be able to listen better from on and onward. The Duke said. Spencer felt bad for himself, but the Duke and Duchess felt like he wasn't punished well enough. The Duke thought and thought, and that light, he would let him off clean, but as soon as he could, he would think of a punishment. Roll the credits!
a Thomas the Tank Engine fan production.